All right, so Red Sparrow is the other movie that came out this week. Um, and this one, like Death Wish, is a movie I won't ever watch again. And it's interesting because Red Sparrow is one of those movies that I would never care for, like, to watch. But because, of course, they they cook me and bring in Jennifer Lawrence and Joel Edgerton, I've got to see it because they're both great actors. And I think that they could probably amplify something that is not something that would interest me typically, like this kind of movie. Um, this Black Widow-esque movie, which it seems very much like Black Widow. This movie, it's called Red Sparrow. That's really close in name. It's another creature or animal that is in the name with a different color. That's really odd that they tried and I, and I don't know if this is a book I thought I might have seen that somewhere that this might be a book beforehand so I don't know I know nothing about the book but this movie itself um, for me personally was really really boring I could not I could not for the life of me pay attention to a lot of it like I mean I watched it and uh, knew what was going on I knew the plot I knew what was happening but I just was so disinterested in the whole movie, and I felt like it's just because I feel like this is a movie I've seen a lot, just like Death Wish. Which this is a movie where I have seen it a, a a lot of times already, but just with different actors, and it's the same story. Where this is about a Russian assassin, or who be, Jennifer Lawrence's character, who becomes a Russian assassin, who goes and is trying to find a mole in a in between two sides and that is something that has been done a lot and Joel Edgerton is the guy that's the person that she kind of has a become forms a bond with where they're both kind of on opposite sides so it's one of those movies where it's really very similar that I've seen this a lot before and I felt like it didn't this didn't give me a reason to like it any more than any other movie like this um, it's not a terrible movie, it's just a boring movie. I think that it's because it is very similar to a lot of movies like this, it just bored me. I did not care. And I thought that, yeah, Jennifer Lawrence and Joel Edgerton, I guess, elevated it a tiny bit. But even they can't always save stuff like this. Even though they're good, they were fine in this movie. They just couldn't, like, elevate it way more than what it is. And I just thought this movie was bland, and it didn't have anything that made me, that gripped me in it. I thought that it was a beautiful looking movie at the start. It, at the start, there were like six or seven shots in a row that I was like, wow, these are beautiful shots. These are beautiful moments. Um, but then after that, it just became very, it didn't, it became very bland. Like, the movie opened with a lot of these cool, beautiful, intricate shots of like, Bad Jennifer Lawrence's character ballerina dancing or having Joel Edgerton's character walk down this uh, dark alley or this dark area and like all these images of them doing all these things at once was cool interspersing each, each of these characters in between what they're doing I thought that was cool and I thought that it was cool just because it looked really beautiful starting out with all those cool different shots um but then after that, it felt like the movie just kind of gave up and became more dreary looking. Like, it didn't have any cool shots or any beautiful looking things about it. Um, but that could be fair to just make, to show how dark the movie is and becomes. But also, it just makes it seem bland in terms of just how it looks later and how the characters are. Um, it's just really bland. It's not anything that I will ever watch again. And like I said, I think that it's got some beautiful, like, imagery, I guess, in the beginning. The acting's fine. The story's fine. But it has been done a million times. And it's just boring because of that. That, to me, is a detriment. It's just not very interesting, in my opinion. And people might love this movie, and that's perfectly fine. But I just, I didn't care for it. And I thought that it didn't give me much to cling on to. And I hope next week is better than this week in terms of movies coming out. Because um, I think The Strangers come at, or the Strangers 2 and A Wrinkle in Time come out next week. So I'm excited for those. But this week, Death Wish and Red Sparrow were really just incredibly lackluster.